Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode of the 25 Days of Canva series, we are creating a website banner. The sizing that I use for this banner is 2000 pixels by 700 pixels. Um, this is just the default sizing that I use. If I'm working on something for a client, I would try to find the sizing that their website requests them to use. But this is just the default one if you want to use this sizing. So these are the models that I am going to use for this video. I have used them before in another video. So if you want the link, I will put that video in the cards for you to watch as well. If you haven't already purchased these models. Um, so for this, I just wanted to do like a simple design. I'm going to stick to like neutral colors and just do a very simple, classy, basic design. I'm just gonna grab a few elements that we've gone over in this series and use those. You know, we're keeping everything real simple and just going with what we know with this design. Um, the font that I'm using for this text is California Paradise. Um, I think we've used it in a design before, but if not, I did get it from thefont.com. I say this every video. Y'all should know now where I get fonts from. <laughs> but um, I just used it for the word slay. I used like a, a basic Canva font for the rest of the text.
Okay, right here I just searched for some silk just to add texture to the background of the banner. I did feel like the side with the text was just a little bit plain. So I wanted to add that just to give it a little bit more detail. And you'll see me do use that same element in the next banner as well. Okay, here I just grabbed this frame that I use in so many of my designs. I need to find a new one to be honest. But you see how it just looks a little bit more detailed, I guess. I don't know, it gives a it gives the banner a little bit more um to me. So I just added that, duplicated it, and added it at the bottom as well. And now we're gonna get into the second banner. As you can see, I am using the same font, the California Paradise, that I used in the first banner. Um, we talked about this before. You want to keep everything consistent so that it looks more uniform. Um, I just feel like using different fonts makes it look tacky. To me, it gives off scammer. Like if your theme has one font, continue to use that same font. Um, I don't know, just to me, if you use different fonts on like the same homepage, it seems like mm, this person is taking other people's work or something like that. I don't know. It just gives, it gives off to me if, if that makes sense. Also, you see me struggling a little bit with this font and text. Like, I, I honestly didn't know what I... I had an idea, but I didn't know what I wanted to do at the same time. I know that's crazy, but yeah. So, you're just going to see me play around with the text a little bit, a few times, actually. Um, but I end up getting it some kind of way, of course. Once I got the text how I wanted to, all I did was select everything, group it, and duplicate it. And then I just placed it all the way behind the model. Um, I'm going to play around with, I think, some effects or something. Yeah, I wanted to do like the reflected mirror look. But then I realized I was going to have to 
remake the entire thing. So I just went with turning down the transparency just a little bit. And now I'm going to add one of my little buttons that I like to put on um, my designs. I'm just going to round the corners a little bit and add a really small border just to make it look like a button. And that is pretty much it for our website banners. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you do recreate this look or something similar, y'all know, just send it to me. I want to see it. Um, but that is pretty much it. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.